The Singapore Cable Car. The Singapore Cable Car goes from the top of Mount Faber to Sentosa Island. It costs 26 Singapore dollars round trip. It has some spectacular views, and this is the only cable car that I've ever received a moist towelette to wipe myself in the event that I sweat. That tells you that Singapore is a little hot, but it's worth it to endure the heat to enjoy the magnificent views. I started my ride at the Mount Faber station. It's sort of the middle of nowhere, so you have to take a taxi to get up here, but it's definitely worth it to see the wonderful view of the bay and Sentosa Island. On the top of Mount Faber, the cable car station is inside the building known as the Jewel Box, which is also a collection of restaurants that looks like it can be a pretty hip place at night, uh, but it's pretty dead for lunchtime when I got here. To cash in on the Angry Birds theme, they also have an Angry Birds cable car. Pretty neat. Before you alight on the cable car, they have a neat little historical sign letting you know that the cable car first opened operations in 1972 and has been operating ever since. It's a very nicely appointed cable car. The seats are well maintained and there's even cup holders over on one side. The cable car passes through the harbor front center, which is also right next to the Vivo City Marketplace, which is Singapore's largest shopping mall. Looking the other direction, you can also see some of Singapore's fancy high-rise condominium buildings right on the bay. As the cable car passes through the harbor front center tower, you can get off here to enjoy some shopping. Alternately, you could also board it here to start your journey to Sentosa if you didn't want to get yourself up to the top of the mountain. Uh, this is the first cable car I've been on that actually passes through an office building. Interesting. Exiting the harbor front tower begins the second part of the journey onwards to Sentosa Island. You know, when they handed this to me, they said, if you sweat. I think they should have said, because you will sweat. Singapore is hot, and it's hot in this cable car. At least when it's moving, it's nice and air-cooled, but when it stops in that tower, <gasps> As you reach the edge of Sentosa Island is where the cable car reaches its highest point at this tower. And from here, it is all downhill onto Sentosa. As you come into Sentosa, you pass over the Resorts World Complex. It has a number of water parks, a lazy river, a wave pool, and then to the left is Universal Studios and a golf course. Once you exit the cable car at Sentosa Station, you can go to the left to the island, or to the right to the cable car museum. Because I've been sweating on that cable car, I think I'm going to go check out the museum. Hopefully that's air conditioned. The museum's pretty cool, definitely worth a visit. They have some of the original cable cars, like this one, and you can also take a peek at the VIP cabin that comes complete with a in-cabin radio and CD player. For LEGO fans, they also have the world's only life-size LEGO cable car cabin. I don't know about you, but that seat doesn't look all that comfortable to me. Once you're done with the Cable Car Museum, it's time to check out Sentosa Island. And you're in luck because I've got a travel video for that too. Just click up there in the upper right. Do it. You know you want to. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe.